let's call a spade a spade here. If we were to go back 100 years ago, I don't think I'd have a problem myself with using animals in circuses because back then we knew no different. The science wasn't on our side. The facts. How is the well, science on your side now? Well, it's, it's very clearly documented. I mean, we've seen undercover investigations all over the world. We've even had undercover investigations here in this country. Hold as well. on, mate. You've seen undercover investigations of animal cruelty and animal abuse. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is, is it cruel to, to, to look after animals well in a circus? Well, look, we've seen the sea lions here. I mean, the, the, the sea lions, the name, the clue is in the name. In this day and age, it's absolutely wrong. I think anyone would be able to clearly see that there's something wrong with keeping a, a marine mammal who's highly intelligent um, in, a, in a paddling pool or a pool of water. You're dragging these animals all over the country, Mr Duffy. Um, and that is the God's honest truth. We've seen it, you know, viewers okay, get to see a spawn. snapshot of, of on, that. David. Okay, well, I mean, if I can just say, uh, my family has been in circus business since the 1800s. In all that time, uh, we've had animals in our charge. We have never, ever been either cautioned or prosecuted for uh, the way we keep our animals. Doesn't make it morally right though, does it? Well, I think it does. I think again, you know, John has said like the, you know, the proof is in the eat. And, I mean, you look at the, the sea lions there. The, the sea lions have been born in circus. Um, they haven't been born in the ocean. They haven't been captured from the sea. And so therefore, they've never experienced they what have they should have experienced. They have never You've experienced them. deprived them of that. Well, I haven't deprived of them. Uh, For profit. Of, of them, uh, and, and, and the public entertain them. Yes, that's fine. That's, uh, and I have absolutely uh, no problem with that. Uh, I wouldn't be here tonight if I did have a problem with it. I know that our animals are well looked after. I know that they're well cared for. I know that they're loved. But are they exploited? for profit and entertainment? Uh, no, I wouldn't think so. Um, yes, they do perform. Um, animals uh, all around the world uh, are used for profit, uh, whether it's show jumping, uh, horse racing, dog racing, bookies. Uh, I think once an animal is happy and What's safe up? and looked after, well, then I'm very happy. But can I just, before we finish, you know, John has been saying for the last 20 years that there is undercover investigations regarding cruelty to animals in circus. He's been saying that and planting seeds in people's minds for 20 years. And every time I have asked John over those 20 years, what have they proven against the animals in Duffy Circus, he will never answer me. Well, look, OK, a couple of things. I'd ask you, David Duffy, you, you talk about your love of the animals and yes. stuff like that. It shows you're completely out of touch with these creatures, especially with your new show of the, the sea lions. Can you tell me how you keep these animals mentally stimulated apart from the pool of water they're kept in? Yes, they're mentally stimulated because oh, they're... Can you tell me exactly of how? Of course, For the audience and everyone listening well, give here. Well, give them a chance yeah. to answer it. They're, they're, <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. They're working in the performance in every day. They're dealing with our people every day, with the handlers who they're used to. They, can, they have uh, access to the pools inside and outside 24 hours a day. Day, they're handled and looked after and played with all day long. They Who plays with them? They're handlers. So yeah. you employ a handler, let's just be clear, yes, 24 the, the, hours around the clock to play with them. The sea lions are not my animals. They are uh, employed uh, in as... So there's uh, someone on a shift and nobody ever sleeps uh, and they play with them 24 uh, hours. The handlers... They must live, be exhausted. They li the handlers live <laughs> with the sea lions next door to them 24-7 for 12 months let's, of the year. Let's speak to Chris Baltrop, who's a circus ringmaster in Oxford. H hello, Chris. Hello, Stephen. Good evening. Hello. Explain to me how these, how these sea lions have a great quality of life. I think you've got to understand that animals in a circus, sea lions included, are working animals. And I think that's what David Duff is trying to explain. They have a relationship with the trainer. They view the trainers, in my experience, with lots Relation of different to animals. To listen to, to Mr Duffy here, they've got more than a relationship. They're with each other 24 hours a day, playing yes, with each what other. He's, what he's, <laughs> OK, you know. But what he's trying to explain is that there is a close relationship. They're working animals. They have a lot to think about. They have a working day. They have routines. They have training. They have performances. They're not sitting there or lying there or swimming about bored. They have plenty to do. And that, that replaces what they will be doing in nature. That's part of environmental enrichment. And that's what must be looked at these days. And that's what nonsense. I'm absolutely confident David Duffy, Tom Duffy Circus is doing. It's nonsense. OK, let's go back to last year. Duffy's, for, for well over 10 years, had a tiger act. Um, people just need to go onto youtube.com and type in three keywords. Donegal, tiger, uh, Duffy Circus, tigers. 
That's amateur well, footage. Words. You said this, it doesn't matter. Okay, fair enough. It doesn't really matter, Div. Okay. You can clearly see amateur footage taken of these tigers. Their lives consisted of cages. They were driven in s berserk. Okay. From going around and around you and need around to respond and around in circles. Yes, I do. Um, I mean, we had the lions and tigers for 23 years. Um, the footage that John has shown of the animals uh, in the cage pacing is just before the animals were fed.